Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Sir Jose Arbalati Dolfo, your science teacher in Alegria National High School. So ngayon po mga kaibigan ay pag-usapan natin yung ibinigay ko na activity worksheet sa ating mga mag-aaral under grade 10 science. At uh, narito po ang mga ilang katanungan para sa summative test. Uh, kalakip na po ang mga sagot for their guides kung ano ba ang dapat na maging sagot doon sa ibinigay kong mga tanong. So, keep on watching. Don't skip the ads on this video para po ay magiging uh, uh, detailed po ang iyong panunood sa ating uh, topic for this day. Let's watch this. <music> Let's move on now to the summative test for week 3 in science grade 10. Prepare ball pens and uh, uh, clean sheets of paper uh, to record the correct answers for your summative test quarter 2 in science 10. Okay, let's begin with question number 1. Uh, question number 1 is... What is the speed of electromagnetic wave in a vacuum? Again, what is the speed of electromagnetic wave in a vacuum? The choices are A. 0 B. Always the same as the speed of light Letter C. Changing depending on the value of its wavelength Letter D. None of the above Okay, think what will be your answer? Yes, that's right. The correct answer is letter B. Always the same as the speed of light. Very good. Now for question number two. How are electromagnetic waves produced? How are electromagnetic waves produced? Letter A. Any disturbance. Letter B, currents. Letter C, vibrating charge. Letter T, voltage source. Guess what will be your answer? Very good. That's letter C. That is vibrating charge. A big round of applause. Okay, for question number three. What happens to the frequency of electromagnetic wave if its wavelength increase? Again, the question for uh, question number three will be What happens to the frequency of electromagnetic wave if its wavelength increase? Lar A, it decreases. Lar B, it increases as well. Lar C, it remains the same, large none of the above. Guess what will be your answer? Okay, you got the correct answer. The correct answer is lar A, that is, it decreases. Okay, let's now proceed to question number four. In the electromagnetic wave, what is the direction of the propagation of the wave? For question number four, in the electromagnetic wave, what is the direction of the propagation of the wave? The choices are, letter A, always to the right. Letter B, cannot be determined. Letter C, parallel to electric and magnetic field direction. Letter T, perpendicular to the electric and magnetic field direction. Okay, guess what will be your answer? Yes, you got the correct answer. And the correct answer is letter T, that is always perpendicular to the electric and magnetic field direction. 
Very good. Okay, let's now proceed to question number five. Which of the following forms of electromagnetic waves has the widest frequency range? Which of the following forms of electromagnetic waves has the widest frequency range? Layer A, X-rays. Layer B, microwave. Layer C, ultraviolet rays. Layer T, radio waves. And the correct answer for question number five, what will be your answer? Yeah, you got the correct answer. And the correct answer is Lur A, that is X-ray. Okay, let's proceed now to question number six. And the question number six is, who contributed in developing equation that showed the relationship of electricity and magnetism? Who contributed the developing equation that showed the relationship of electricity and magnetism? The choices are A. Andre Marie Amper, Larry B. Heinrich Hertz, Larry C. James Clerk Maxwell, Larry T. Michael Faraday. What will be your correct your answer? Okay, the correct answer for number six is Larry C. That is James Clerk Maxwell. You got the correct answer. Okay, for question number seven. Who showed experimental evidence of electromagnetic waves and their link to light? Who showed experimental evidence of electromagnetic waves and their link to light? Lair A. Andre Marie Amper. Lair B. Henrich Hertz, Larry C. James Clerk Maxwell, Larry T. Michael Faraday. Guess what will be your answer? Okay, the correct answer for question number seven is Larry B. That is Henrich Hertz. Okay, let's now proceed to question number eight. Which type of wave has the shortest wavelength which type of the wave has the shortest wavelength letter a gamma ray letter b microwave letter c ultraviolet letter d x-ray guess what will be your answer okay the correct answer for question number eight is letter a, that is gamma ray. You got the correct answer. Congratulations. Okay, this time, we will now proceed to question number 9. And the question number 9 is, what is the other term of electromagnetic waves? What is the other term of electromagnetic waves? Layer A, electric waves. Layer B, Longitudinal waves, layer C, mechanical waves, layer D, transverse waves. Guess what will be your answer now? Okay, the correct answer for question number 9 is layer D, that is transverse waves. Okay, we will now proceed to question number 10. And the question number 10 is is which of the following correct list of electromagnetic waves in the order from the longest to the shortest wavelength which of the following correct list electromagnetic waves in the order from the longest to the shortest wavelength there a gamma rays ultraviolet infrared and microwaves. Layer B, microwaves, ultraviolet, visible light, and gamma rays. For letter C, radio waves, infrared, gamma rays, 
and ultraviolet rays. Larity, radio waves, infrared, visible light, and x-rays. Okay. You can determine the answer by looking for the electromagnetic waves um, picture or um, image in your module. What will be your correct answer? Okay, the correct answer for question number 10 is letter D. That is radio waves, infrared, visible light, and x-rays. Okay, that will be the correct list, which it's electromagnetic waves in the form of the longest to the shortest wavelength. Okay, let's now proceed to question number 11. How is the wavelength of infrared differs from the wavelength of ultraviolet waves? The question for number 11 is, how is the wavelength of infrared differs from the wavelength of ultraviolet rays? Letter A, longer. Letter B, shorter. Letter C, the same. Letter D, none of the above. Okay, what will be your answer for that question number 11? Yeah, you got the correct answer and the correct answer for question number 11 is letter A, that is longer. And now we will now proceed to question number 12. And the question number 12 is, all electromagnetic waves have the same speed. Your answer must be true or false. For question number 12, your answer should be true or false. And the question is, all electromagnetic waves has, have the same speed. What will be your answer, true or false? Yeah, you got the correct answer. And the correct answer for question number 12 is true. Because all electromagnetic waves under electromagnetic spectrum, there will be the constant speed of light in a vacuum for all electromagnetic waves under electromagnetic spectrum has the speed of that has the constant speed of light which is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second okay so that will be that is why all electromagnetic waves has the same speed okay did you get okay now let's now proceed to Question number 13. And the question number 13 is, what is the main difference between a radio wave and a light wave? What is the main difference between a radio wave and a light wave? The choices are A. Speed Letter B. Wavelength Letter C. Both A and B Letter D none of the above what will be your answer for question number 13 okay the correct answer for question number 13 is letter b that is wavelength very good okay this time we are going now to proceed to question number 14 and the question number 14 is which of the following is not an electromagnetic wave? Number 14 question is, which of the following is not an electromagnetic wave? Lar A, infrared. Lar B, light. Lar C, sound. Lar D, radio. Guess what will be your answer? Okay, and the correct answer for question number 14 is letter C, which is sound. That is not included in electromagnetic 
waves or electromagnetic spectrum as you observe or you are going to look at on in the picture on the different types of electromagnetic waves and their electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, this time, question number 15 is, what is the frequency range of ultraviolet radiation? So, you are going to refer on the electromagnetic spectrum table so that you will be able to get the correct answer for this question. No need to solve, just look at on the range um, on the uh, illustration under electromagnetic table. Okay, for... Question number 15 again, what is the frequency range of ultraviolet radiation? I mean to say you are going to look at on the table on electromagnetic spectrum only for ultraviolet radiation. Then look at their, uh, its range. Okay, the choices are for A, that is 3.5 times 10 raised to 9, 2, 3 times 10 raised to 11 hertz, Letter B, 3.5 times 10 raised to 11 to 4 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Letter C, 7.5 times 10 raised to 14 to 3 times 10 raised to 16 hertz. Then letter D is 7.5 times 10 raised to 16 to 3 times 10 raised to 19 hertz. Okay, what will be the, the range of electromagnetic wave or the frequency of an electromagnetic waves under ultraviolet radiation? What will be your answer? And the correct answer is, let's see, that is 7.5 times 10 raised to 14 to 3 times 10 raised to 16 hertz. That will be the range of ultraviolet radiation in electromagnetic spectrum. I hope guys na natulungan ko po kayo sa inyong summative test uh, sa pagbibigay ng uh, information or information based on, on the coverage or the, the topic that we have for week number 3, science 10. Uh, nawa po ay Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell all para po the next time na mag-upload po ako ng video regarding uh, class discussions in science and mathematics. So you will be updated para panoorin po natin ang lahat ng ito. So hoping you guys that you will get the correct answer for your summative test for week 3 under Science 10. Magandang araw po at maraming salamat sa panunood.